right, what's going on everybody? We are on day one of hold with Miss Prairie Dog. She is roughly seven months old now. We've started collar conditioning. We have the prerequisites of good, pretty good obedience. We've got her adult teeth here, looking white and beautiful. Proud of her for having nice teeth. She should be a dentist. Um, and we're gonna start hold. I've got a force fetch table here at our training grounds. I got a force fetch table at my kennel, but you don't need a, a table to get this done. You can find a corner of your house and sit on a chair and put the dog in between your legs. So they've got a wall here and a wall here and they're in between your legs. They can't go anywhere and just do it right there. You got control over them and just pet on them and love on them. She feels pretty good up here. I'm proud of her, but this is day one. Um, I have no idea what she's gonna do. So let's roll with it. Come here, girl. Come here. So the first thing I do, come here, sit is I take my left hand, I'm right handed, so my left hand goes around her muzzle on top, peels her gums back, insert bumper. And if, as you can see, my thumb is in front of the bumper and my hand's under her jaw. This is pretty good. Yes, good dog. So again, over the top, roll it in, and I keep my thumb in front of her mouth in case she starts spitting it. Dang, Prairie, you're a good dog. Give. Too easy. Fetch. Hold. Hold. Good. Good. I'm stroking. Loving. Good dog. Give. Now, uh, come here. Fetch. I'm saying the word fetch just to start using it. Um, hold. There you go. This is what I want you to see. You did it perfectly, now you're messing up. And I, that's what everyone else is gonna see. Good, hold, so my thumb is in there. I got control of her head with the, my hand is in her collar. Give, good. And I'm applying a little bit of pressure upward. So when they're struggling a little bit and they're like <laughs> spitting it out, trying to get it out. If I lift up a little bit on the, the collar, they're gonna go like this and it's gonna, their mouth is gonna stop. Good dog, give, okay? So fetch. Hold, hold, and I can do little taps under the jaw. Hold, good, give, good, fetch. Now another thing that we did with her as a puppy is I would tease her with a bumper. You know, she's going, she's playing with it and fetch. As soon as she was lunging for it already, I would say the word. So in a very positive, fun way, I was creating an association with Grab that sucker, okay? Come here, fetch, good, good, hold. So she has no idea what the F word means, no idea what hold means. She's just hanging on to this thing because she's being a really good dog. Give, good, fetch. I roll the gums back, hold. That's why you keep your thumb in front, hold. That's good. Hold. Good. And relax a little bit. Good. Hold. Give. Good dog. Fetch. This is going way too easy. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Give. Good dog. Fetch. These sessions are short. Five, ten minutes. Ten minutes is a long time. Give. And I'm doing a lot of reps too, fetch. I don't really, I mean, I'll make her, you know, by day three or something, I'll make her give, I'll make her hang on to it longer. And so maybe I'll do a few less reps and make her hang on to it for more like 30 seconds. And you can do the old tap on the sides a little bit just to make sure that the grip is there, but I don't go crazy with it. Here, girl. Um, I don't go crazy with that. Sometimes I think dogs will, will develop a little bit of too much hanging on, and I want him to just hold it gently. Fetch. Good. I want him to hold it gently and give it gently. I don't want him to bite down and hang on too much, so sometimes too much of the tap tap ruse on the sides can create a little bit of hard. Good. Good. Give. Good dog. Fetch. Um, and if you notice, I'm rolling her gums back 
make sure that they're not caught in between the bumper or the paint roller like I've got here. And so it's a little more comfortable, give, for her to hang on to it. Good dog, here, fetch. Good, good, hold. Now, another thing that's a super common that I hear people say is uh, when we're actually out in the field retrieving, they're saying hold to their dog. Dog's bringing a bumper or a bird back and they're like, hold, hold it, hold, hold it. I don't do that. Once the dog is done with force fetch, here girl. Once the dog is done with force fetch, I don't say hold ever. So this is more a fetch, hold. This, this is just for now. Once they understand fetch, then that word supersedes all other words. If they spit that duck or drop that duck and bumper or whatever it is, it's fetch and they're getting stimulation, but not until my whole force fetch process is done. Like done, done. Fetch, good, hold. This is pretty easy. Give, good. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more just because this is our session, fetch. But this is really good. I would say I'd probably do this for one more day and then I'm gonna start applying pressure. I don't spend a ton of time on hold. I just basically get them to this point where she's not spitting it, rolling it, chomping it. Hold, good. Where they just accept it in their mouth and they're relaxed about it, give. Fetch. And then I go right into ear pinch or toe hitch. Good, give, because what happens is if they understand that fetch, if they're understanding and that you're building that understanding through the teaching process, if she were to spit it, like let's say I'm on toe hitch, right? I've got a little pressure on the toe, bumper goes in the mouth, toe hitch pressure's turned off, she's holding it, she spits it out. I go right back to the toe hitch, fetch, and she grabs it up, good dog. Oh, hey, she's so chill. Um, she, she'll pick it right back up. So now I don't have to say hold because fetch means hang on to it until I tell you give. So there's no other real rhyme or reason for hold. Here, sit. Uh, once they've understand, once they understand the fetch command. Fetch, good, hold. But this is what it should look like when I'm about ready to go to, to tow hitch. But literally this is day one, so I want her to have a few reps at doing a good job with this. But if it was another dog who this could be like their day three or four until they get good at being calm holding on. Once that's good, once we're here, then I go to the tow hitch. So I'm gonna actually grab another dog and see a little bit more of the real world struggles. That was way too easy, way too easy. All right, now Prairie Dog did really, really well. So we're gonna pull out Bruce, the big old bear Bruce. And Bruce has a tendency to roll that sucker. Come here, here, sit. Another thing I did with my, my lead here is I took some slack away so that he can't lay down, he can't move around as much. Come here, fetch. Roll his gums back, hold. Oh, you're gonna do good for the camera. Good hold. What a good black dog. Give. Fetch. Hold. Hold. Good. Hold. Give. What a boy. Dang, man. Fetch. You're so good, too. Must be doing my job. Give. Bruce is on day three of hold. But usually he'll try and spit it a little. There you go. Hold. Hold, good. And then just stroke him a little bit. So I'm gonna give him a little pop, right? And then, oh, what a good dog. Give, good boy. Fetch, roll the gums back, hold. Thumb in front, hand underneath the jaw, hold. And I've got control of his head and body because I've got my left hand underneath his, his this is a Z collar, but you'd use your flat collar too. Give, good boy, Bruce, fetch. and. There you go. Hold. Good. Good. Super easy. The day one, a lot of dogs on my day one will really fight me. And they'll move their head and duck their head and try and get away from it. And 
not hang on to it. It's like, it's almost like they got to submit to just hanging on to something. They'd want to grab it and retrieve it, but to like sit there and hold it, they're like, meh, here, come here. Fetch, good, boy. Hold. You're gonna see this technique, the lifting up on the head, a lot more once we start applying e-collar pressure or uh, and toe hitch or ear pinch pressure. Give, good boy, Bruce. You're a good boy, fetch. Good, man. Good. If he drops it, hold, hold. If he were to drop it, I just immediately grab it, slide it right back in, good, hold. Hold. Good. Good. Yes. What a boy. Good dog. So remember, I've got, if you're doing it in your house and you've got him in between your legs, you still have a collar on them and you're maintaining control with that collar with your left hand if you're a righty. Um, as soon as I roll into his mouth, bang, I, my left hand slides right behind his ear to grab onto that collar to have, you know, head control basically. And then the right hand is under his jaw, thumb in front of the mouth, and you're just gently talking to him. Good dog, good hold, good. You must like my duck hands, buddy, they're gross. Good, good boy. All right, thanks for tuning in day one of hold. We got good dogs here that don't mind it. No, no, don't do that. Um, that that are I'm proud of, there'll be more to come. I can promise you that. They made it look easy today. <laughs>